Hey, good afternoon all. Hello again. It's uh, Tuesday, March 24th. I'm coming to you now from the sort of workroom slash storage room of the Emerson Hospital Respiratory Lab. Uh, thanks guys for letting me slum here. And uh, here you see MacGyver Later Mark II. Um, so just to go over some noteworthy mentions here, I've, as you can see, we've hooked this up to a uh, circuit with airway tubing coming from the bag mask here and going to where basically where the patient would be and uh, we've got some lungs mocked up taking some breaths as you can see but we've hooked up uh, all of this to a peep valve as well as a um, expiratory valve so that expired air goes out the thing we have to figure out still is how to filter this uh, but we are working on that as we speak uh, as for the guide layer itself large part it doesn't change too much. Um, I'll highlight some of the big differences. One is that there is a block underneath the bag, as you can see, which just supports the bag, allows for some better compression there, and reduces some of the um, movement of the bag inwards as it gets compressed. Um, we now have, on the rotating arm here, we have just one compression bolt instead of two. Um, uh, the two bolt design was a little too torque limited in order to give us the, uh, the I to E ratios we wanted. So uh, I switched over to a single bolt design and that seems to be working pretty well. Um, over here at this end, um, like I said, large is the same. I've just added this little really complicated rubber band system uh, to help return the compression arm up to position between breaths. Um, over time, this bag gets a little um, inelastic or less elastic and doesn't spring up as well and so this just helps it bring up to position so you can maximize your tidal volume as you press down. Um, just to point out some details that maybe you guys didn't see the first time around this is the motor itself 12 volt DC motor low RPM high torque um, I'll go into detail on the specs of this um, in a document and on assembly videos this is a um, well, multi-volt uh, PWM module that allows you to change the rate of the motor. So that gives you a rate adjustment there. Okay folks, here's the moment of truth where we're actually trying to test the MacGyvalator's uh, output and see if it meets physiologic parameters. We have a gas flow analyzer here in line. You can see the tubing is coming from the bag around into one side, and then we have the lungs, the fake lungs on the other side with the feet valve and the expiratory valve there. And you can see we're getting tidal volumes of about 450 mils, 460 mils, and I to T of a 1 to 2.75 or so. So this is uh, awesome to see because uh, we are delivering basically physiologic parameters, useful physiologic parameters, especially in the case of ARDS, um, with our PPC and wood uh, disaster ventilator. <laughs>